Eastman and Laird's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, number two in color classics. Kiss your butt goodbye! Hey, come on you guys, cut it out. Splinter can't hear the TV with you sparring in the same room. Yarrr! Don't bother, Leonardo. When Raphael gets this way, you just have to wait till he wears himself out. Shoot. Uh, uh, Michelangelo's almost as bad. <sighs> Very bad. What is this news program? Listen, Leonardo. So, Dr. Baxter Stockman, do you believe that this little thing will solve the city's rodent problem? This little thing, Miss Hines, is a fully operational rodent hunter, seeker, killer, we like to refer to it as a mouser. As you can see, we have constructed this maze to simulate the conditions under which the mouser will operate. Now my assistant April will release five rats into the maze. Ten seconds later, I activate and release this one mouser at the same spot. The mouser unit is not in itself a very intelligent machine. Its internal programming chip is dedicated to control of motive functioning, a larger central mother computer coordinates all search and retrieval functions. And when its work is done, or when its storage capacity of five average sized rats is filled, each mouser unit returns to a pre-assigned drop point, directed by a remote mother unit. Well, Dr. Stockman, this mouser certainly made short work of those five rats, just under three minutes. Yes, Miss Hines. April and I are quite confident that the city will fully recoup its investment in my project, with the total eradication of... The rat problem. <laughs> oh no! Oh no, not another piece of furniture. Master, what about this Dr. Stockman's mouser? We must be more cautious from now on, for one thing. Hmm, let me think on this a bit. I am going to meditate. Oh, and Raphael. Help Michelangelo clean up this mess. Several weeks pass, many rats are caught by Dr. Stockman's mousers, and the city also experiences a rash of bizarre bank robberies. Listen to this, Baxter. It says that the police were baffled by this bank heist. They can't figure out how the bolts were tunneled into so swiftly and neatly through concrete and steel. The tunnels were so narrow only a child could have crawled through them. Or a very small adult, April. Why are you boring me with this? Well, it's just that I've been thinking. Yes? The mouser unit, they could have dug tunnels like that easily. Oh, come now, April. Why would the mousers dig holes in bank vaults? You helped program them, remember? But what if someone else has gotten control of a couple mousers and reprogrammed them? Really, April? The mother computer would know if that happened, and would tell me. I... I suppose you're right, Baxter. Still, April, I... April, I assure you that no one else has control over the mousers, except you and I. Come on, I have something to show you. I've seen the elevator before. <laughs> no, this is different. What's that, Baxter? You'll see. 
Hey, what's going on? Shh. Baxter, what's happening? We've just passed the ground floor and basement. How can we go down any further? Shh, it's okay. Just be quiet. And this... Security check. Security check? What for? Good lord. Where did you get all of these mousers? The city only gave us enough funds for two dozen. And there are more than 200 in this room. Still more are being assembled as we speak. But Baxter, how did you get that money? Oh no. Very good, April. Very perceptive. I would have been disappointed at anything less. Yes, those recent baffling bank robberies are my doing. With the aid of my mousers, I have already stolen over 900,000. Of course, that is only the beginning. At this moment, hundreds of mousers are tunneling throughout the city, undermining and weakening the foundations of certain large and important buildings. When they are nearly done, I'll hold the city for ransom. And if I'm refused, I will order my mousers to finish the excavation. And those buildings will fall. But why? Why, Baxter? You can make millions legally. You're quite right, April. The money is only an incidental, a byproduct. I'm really doing it because it's fun. <laughs> I don't believe what I'm hearing. This just isn't the Dr. Stockman I've worked with all this time. <laughs> He's in his own world. I better make a run for it. Why I can Well, if you want to be that way, then go. I don't need you. I don't need anyone except my mousers. I suppose you're going to rush off and tell the police about me and my plan. <sighs> one must do what one must do, I guess. Oh wait, I need that ID card to work the elevator. Baxter, wait! <laughs> no! Sorry, April. You must realize I won't, can't help you turn me in. So I'm making it a little more difficult for you to leave, but not impossible. Watch your step! <laughs> Dramatic, huh? Sorry about the mucky water, but it collects there after it rains. At least it isn't over your head. Baxter, you slime puppy. Well, I'm not going to stay here in this foul-smelling hole, and this tunnel looks like the only way out. Yuck. I hope this tunnel ends soon. Hmm. It looks like it opens into a larger tunnel up ahead. Now, where do I go from here? It really doesn't matter. Tricking you into the storm drain tunnels has given me the time to program your imminent demise. Hmm, how many should I send after her? Three? Five? Ten maybe? No, three will be plenty. <laughs> what delightful irony, slain by the very technological marvels which her computer skills made possible. I've given them enough data to track her down, her size, scent, and her voice print. Goodbye, April. <laughs> Meanwhile... It's so dark and creepy in here. I hope I find a letter soon. Eh? What's that noise? Oh no! The Mousers! That twisted Baxter! He's trying to kill me! Gotta run! Gotta get away from them! I can't deal with this.
later. She fainted, Splinter, and then we carried her and the remains of those three mousers back here. Hmm. I suppose your unexpected appearance was quite a shock to her system. Of course, being chased through dark tunnels by a pack of bloodthirsty robots probably didn't help. Oh. She's waking up. Oh, so you are real. I wasn't imagining you. Where am I? You are safe, young woman. Safe in our home. Who? who? My name is Splinter. And yes, I am a rat. I am also the teacher of these turtles who rescued you. Leonardo, Donatello, and Raphael. There is also Michelangelo, who was here at home. Hi. Well, thank you all for saving me from those robots. Uh, just what are you? And where did you come from, if you don't mind me asking? Not at all. Ours is a long story, though. For the origin story of Splinter and the Turtles, see issue number one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Or you can also see video number 24 from this channel, which is Axe Lars. One hour later. What a fantastic story! Now that you've avenged your master and defeated the Shredder, what will you do? What purpose will inspire your lives now? That is a very good question, April. It depends mostly on what my students... Master Splinter, come quick! There's something on the TV you should see. Police and fire departments have evacuated the building. And clear the area around it in case the building in fact does fall as the mysterious terrorist has threatened. Here again is the videotaped ransom note delivered to City Hall just one hour ago. Greetings, citizens of New York. Who am I is not important. My god, that's Baxter. Well, not as important as what I am prepared to do. I intend to extort one billion dollars from the major businesses of New York City. How do I intend to do this, you say? Simple, by systematically holding hostage every corporate headquarters building in this city. If I am not paid the ransom I set for each building I pick, then one by one I will demolish them. The air will shudder with the sounds of tortured, twisted steel, shattering glass, and exploding stone. Now, just to show that I am not jesting, and to show that I'm not a cheap kind of guy, I'm going to give you a freebie. I have in my hand a small model of the Rexstab building. Its real-life counterpart in downtown Manhattan Vacant except for a few small offices since the previous owners vanished mysteriously, will cease to exist at 3 p.m. today. <laughs> and tomorrow at 3 p.m., one of the World Trade Center towers will topple, unless I am paid 20 million dollars. The unidentified terrorist then went on to describe a complex arrangement for delivery of the ransom money. However, it has not been determined if this threat is for real or merely part of an elaborate hoax. As you can see, it is now 3.03 p.m. and the Rexta building is still standing. So I guess this will wrap it up. Uh huh? <laughs> Good lord! No. John in Splinter, this man is mad. He must be stopped. <laughs> April, do you think you can find your way back to Baxter's secret lab? I, I think so. Then go with her, my ninja, and use your every skill to quench this madness. Later. Marvelous. 
This is great. I think I'll run those tapes again. <laughs> Your reign of terror has ended, Stockman. Eh? Wh what? Who are you? How did you get in here? They came with me, Baxter, to help stop your schemes. April, you're still alive. Don't move another inch, bucko. No thanks to you, creep. Your mousers would have killed her if not for us. Now, let's see. I'm sure I can figure out how to shut this system down. No! No! No, I won't let you ruin my beautiful plan! Ow! Get out of my way! Oof! Ha! You'll never stop me now! Got you! Arr, too late, freak! <laughs> I've locked in the self-destruct program! <laughs> You'll all die now! Shut up, fool! Now the Mousers will follow a new program. They'll come back here and won't stop eating until they've destroyed everything in this whole room, including you! <laughs> Raphael, shut this loony up! <laughs> nice work, Raphael. My pleasure! April, is what Stockman said true? It, it must be, Leonardo. None of these controls are responding. We're in trouble. Is there a way out other than the tunnel? The elevator. What's it look like, Michelangelo? Uh, it's jammed. I'll try this. <laughs> Yo! The whole shaft is jammed with rocks. Another bit of Stockman's blasted plan. Oh my god, we're trapped. There's nothing we can do. Wait a minute, April. I'm familiar with some computer systems, and you help program the mousers. Maybe we can do something to cancel this destruct program. I suppose it's possible, Donatello. But it will take time, and those mousers will be here soon. I've got a plan that might delay them, April. If Baxter kept any explosives here... Hey, Leo. I think I've got what you need here. Plastic explosives. Looks like Baxter was covering all the bases. Great, Raphael. These little babies should buy us some time. Open the doors to the tunnels. What? Are you crazy? Do it. Oh, I think I know what his plan is, Raphael. You're going to blow the tunnel, right? You got it. Put them here, about 30 yards from the lab. When these supports go, the tunnel will collapse at this point. That should slow them down a little. They're all done. Okay, light him up. Uh oh. Mousers, here they come, get ready. Light him! Yeah. <laughs> They're all lit. Let's go, go! Everybody okay? My ears hurt. Seems like we bought ourselves some breathing space. <laughs> I'll check to see how April and Donatello are doing back in the lab. Damn, that didn't work. Try this. How's it going? Not so good. Michelangelo, come quick. They're almost through the rubble. No! Baxter's sick, but quite brilliant. Failsafes included an electrical overload that burned out a lot of these circuits. I know it. It's frustrating. How about whipping up a quick virus program? 
that would infect the system and kill it. There's one. Oh, I've got it. Yep. There. Two more. No good. Not enough time. I would take days to write a virus program. We've got minutes. Blast. Robots make my skin crawl. <laughs> Wait a minute. How are the mouses controlled? By radio? Why, yes. The computer's instructions are beamed to each unit's radio receiver. <laughs> If we can somehow shut down all the power, the transmitter here will stop broadcasting the computer's orders to the mousers. Assuming, of course, that the transmitter is part of this system. We got to try it. Wait, I think I have something here. It looks like an emergency shutdown program. It might work. <laughs> There are too many, coming too fast. Michelangelo, Raphael, fall back to the lab. Run! Oh no, this program is set to shut the power off starting with the least essential system. You mean... Yes, the Mauser's radio transmitter will be the last to be shut down. Donatello, on my command, close the tunnel doors. Close those suckers, now! No good, Leonardo. They're already starting to come through the walls. The program is working, but uh, but just not fast enough. It, it it has to be. Turtles die with honor. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Hey. I guess it worked. <laughs> All right. And